One, so after all these rains, I've been noticing a lot of these tiny little fuzzy seedlings popping up in our paths. So these little tiny seedlings actually belong to this beautiful spiny herb, what we call borage. In just a matter of weeks, these little seedlings will soon grow up to these two to three feet tall borage plants or bur borage flower. So borage is a really easy to grow companion plant to incorporate a garden, especially if you're new to gardening and don't really have a lot of time to maintain your field. Main, main reasons are because of the characteristics that this plant has. Ways to identify a uh, borage, it's through its spiny leaves. Borage has these spiny, fuzzy leaves that, you know, if you're not careful, can be irritating. But the good thing about these thorns or these spiny leaves are that they help repel a lot of pests. So if your garden has been known to have a lot of pest pressures, this is a good herb to have in your garden because it doesn't really have a lot of pest pressures like many other plants. Another characteristic is this beautiful star-shaped flower which has about five petals. It can come in different colors such as this lighter purple, a darker blue color, purple, white, but all of them are very tasty. You can actually eat the flower. In my opinion, it has a sweet or a vitamin B12 aftertaste. They're actually really good in garnishes and salads and desserts. But also the leaves before they develop their thorns can be also consumed and incorporated in soups or in salads or in a porridge. Especially when you cook it, these thorns will come right off. So it grows really well in a lot of different types of soils. So if you don't have the best type of soils, this is a good plant to start with. So that way, as soon as your plant grows, your soil will develop and you won't really have any issues with growing, growing borage. If you've noticed a lot of little critters flying around, a really cool and important fact about borage is that it attracts pollinators. So borage is a really pollinator friendly plant. It's very important to have these kind of flowers for your gardens because these will definitely help pollinate your vegetables, your fruits that require that cross pollination. So this will make a really great companion plant in your garden. Aside from it being resilient and edible, this is a pretty attractive plant. And once it dies off, although it is an annual, it'll reseed itself and before you know it, you'll have a lot of those growing like I do. They'll just reseed themselves and end up in the most weirdest areas. We actually have these on the opposite side of campus. So that goes to show that once you start with one, you'll end up with a lot. So. With that being said, this guy can easily be invasive, but it's a great plant to have and it's awesome for your pollinators and your food production. I hope you learned something today and thanks for watching.